The school funding landscape in Washington has changed dramatically. Although the state recently provided additional funding, many districts are facing big budget challenges. So what's at the core of the funding issue, and how do we take a bite out of the problem? Well, part of the dilemma is that it's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. Every district, even districts right next door to each other, are affected differently. Meet Jim. He's the superintendent in a small 2,000-student district. The state allocated a one-size-fits-all salary for teachers, but in his rural community, many of his staff are long-timers and make a much higher wage. Local levies used to help bridge the gap, but now the state caps the ability for districts to raise money locally at $1.50 per $1,000 of assessed property value. Jim worries it won't be enough to cover salaries and other important student services. Also, Jim's district no longer receives money from the state to help with lower property values in his community. Meet Sue. As the superintendent of a district with 24,000 students, she's affected by the funding changes differently. Her community values performing arts, high-tech classes, and AP courses in their schools, which are paid for out of local levy dollars. In her district, 18% of her entire budget comes from local levy dollars, but like Jim, her levy funding has also been cut. Sue wonders how she's going to pay for the quality staff and services her district is accustomed to. The schools in her district are allotted enough funding for four safety and security positions by the state, yet the district currently employs 36 officers to keep 38 schools safe. What's more, it's a similar situation for school nurses. Sue's neighboring school district is receiving additional funds for salaries to compensate for higher property values, but her district doesn't qualify, making it harder to attract top staff. Much larger school districts are negatively impacted too. While their budgets are much bigger, their percentage of loss to the bottom line is still staggering. What does all this mean for education in Washington? Nearly every school district in our state is grappling with the possibility that they simply won't have enough funding for fruitful programs for students now and in the years to come. Contact your local school district to find out about the hard choices your education leaders are making so that our apple seeds can grow and prosper.